All right, well, good morning, everyone. So it is a Tuesday, April 11th, and I'm getting ready for my morning live sale. I've got everything um, in front of me ready to go. I like to put things in the order that I'm going to be doing them. Helps keep things straight. Um, I've also got my sheet, which does follow the order also. So that way I don't miss anything. I don't forget to show anything. Here I'm in a ground. So here we go. All of the items that I am going to be just a couple minutes before I go live. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of let um, let you know that, that I've got um, to run an errand right after the sale. So I might not pop on. I might pop on right after I get back. And then we'll talk about what sold. Um, but I need to go pick up a eBay return. And I have an eBay sale going out. So we'll talk a little bit about eBay today. Uh, but kind of looking forward, most of the day, the game plan is um, invoicing, packing, and kind of working from the old system, getting all of those things out. I'm also working, started yesterday on the new system, so I'm working on that kind of forward. They're going to meet somewhere halfway in between. I don't know when that's going to be. Maybe Thursday, maybe Sunday. We'll see. Those are my two big, really, invoicing and packing days. So we'll see kind of going forward how this new system's going to be kind of incorporated into the daily routine. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the game plan for the day. So I'm going to finish getting ready for the live sale. And then, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you as soon as I get back home from running my errand. All right. Well, I have been getting a bunch of stuff done after the sale. As I mentioned, I had to go to my uh, mailbox and pick up a uh, eBay return. It happens. It happens from time to time. Just didn't work for the person. I'll show that because I've got it on the table here. I'm also going to show the items from my live sale this morning that did show the items that didn't show. I had about a... <laughs> one to two ratio. So only about a third of the items that I brought ended up selling. Sometimes that's just how it is. Um, I also received some friend mail, so I'm going to share that also. So let me flip down here. All right. So here is the eBay return. Yep, it's a necktie. It just didn't work for the guy. Um, so I'll talk about when I go upstairs. I have to get some postage ready. And so we'll talk a little more about that upstairs. Uh, so here's the items that did sell. Some shark teeth, earrings, a few of the little Mexican pottery Tanala figurines. This, I think, recycled glass vase or oil lamp. Um, these cute little wooden display uh, pieces, storage or display. Um, and then a couple of free items I had. This is a cookie cutter. That is for Mark. Uh, these are the items that did not sell during the sale and are available. I will just be putting those in the, um, you know, another, another day sale. Uh, and yeah, I'll bring them back again at a future date. Um, and then this is the awesome piece of friend mail that I got. Thank you so much, Martha. Uh, vintage conversation. And thank you. Oh, wait. Wait. Here we go. I knew I had their cards here somewhere, and then I lost them for a sec. So, Martha, thank you. Thank you so much. Vintage conversation. And then um, Tammy was the one who had it in her sale and shipped it to me. But Martha remembered that I have a great fondness and I am going to get a shadow box. One of these times I'm out thrifting, I'm going to find a good one. And I'm going to put all of my little Christmas corsages in there. But I don't have a pretty purple one like this. So that is so cool. And thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, for getting that to me. I appreciate it. So uh, let's round again. All right. So in the um, in the washing machine, I have got now the 
large, very large uh, tablecloths. Uh, I think three large tablecloths and a napkin set. So those are going through. Um, yeah, I d I've done the load with the OxyClean. Now I'm going to do a load of just detergent just to freshen them up. And then um, I'll see if there's anything exciting about them that I need to show. Otherwise, I don't think so. Um, but one is like, oh gosh, you would need like, I think a two leaf table in. It's like over a hundred inches long. It is a big one. Um, but yeah, it just needed a little freshen up after sitting in a drawer for a while. So I've got that going and uh, yeah, so I am going to be heading upstairs now, get some postage ready before the mail carrier gets here for pickup. And uh, then, yeah, and then I'm going to be packing and stuff all day. So I'll keep you posted on what's going on, but that is the plan. Otherwise, I'm going to quick, you guys don't get an opportunity to see Faye very often, but there's Faye. Hi, Faye. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> it's a quick shot of Faye before she goes running away. So, uh, yeah, so I am uh, cleaning up this downstairs, getting all this organized, getting the stuff that needs to go upstairs. And then we'll talk a little bit more about what I've got going on upstairs. All right, so it is about 12.30. I am upstairs. I'm getting ready to... Uh, to uh, wrap up, <laughs> pack up the items that sold today, get them all uh, ready to be shipped out, going to put them in my new organized filing system, kind of. Yeah, I'm still working on that part of it, but um, but I do have bags because I've got bags. So I'm using bags because that's what I've got. Uh, but I'm using those. It's got a name on it. They're in alphabetical order so I can find them, keep track of them. Um, people who have bought previously from me, I can add to it. Um, I'm also working on my old system. So I'm kind of working forward this way, working back this way. They're going to meet in the middle at some point, and then I'll go through with my new system. Um, I do have down here, there we go, right there. I have my eBay uh, purchase that's ready to go. So yeah, what, what I'm doing and why I'm doing this is so that I will have more time to do some listings and regenerate, rejuvenate uh, my eBay Poshmark. Etsy, Macari, <laughs> all of those kind of invigorate them, get something going on them again. I do occasionally sell, but no, I've got stuff to sell. I got to list it. Uh, so the tie, the tie that was the return right here. Uh, so when I accepted, um, well, it's automatically set up to accept returns. I do offer, I think, 30 day returns. Usually people know right away though, if they're going to return something. So that's nice. Um, so this came back. Um, I issued the refund. I have it set up on mine that I do accept returns, but I do not pay the shipping. So if somebody wants to return an item, they have to pay the shipping. I also have it set up that I don't offer free shipping on anything in my um, on my eBay store. So the buyer pays shipping costs, which are in addition to the price. Um, and then, yeah, if they want to return something, then they have to pay shipping there. So that's how I have it set up. Um, kind of, I think, at least with my listings, I feel like, okay, if you want to commit, there's a probably a 99% possibility you're not going to return an item, but a tie is lightweight to ship. So sure, it makes sense. So what I'm going to do, um, oh, so going back to, to eBay. So what, what happens on eBay is uh, when I accept the, the return, give the money back, I believe, but I'm going to double check that eBay automatically relists the item. So it should be back active on eBay right now. I'm going to go double check. Um, also, because I do sell on Mercari and Poshmark, that's not something I'm going to be listing on Etsy. 
but I will list it on Poshmark and possibly on Mercari. Let me see. Yep, it is back active again. So the listing, so it's it's a nice turnaround. If you do have a return, once you go through the process and do the return, eBay automatically relists the item. Now, the item is not automatically relisted on um on Poshmark or Mercari. So I will go in and use Flip. I do use Flip, F-Y-F-L-Y-P. I do have a code down at the bottom of my description. Um, I, I don't use it really for anything, but there is a code down there. Uh, but what I do like with Flip is I do find that it is a great cross-lister and it, imp it will I think because I've been on eBay for 20 years, filling out an eBay listing is is kind of easy for me. So that's usually where I start is I fill out everything I want to fill out. I have templates set up, so I have all of that. Um, so once I get it set up on eBay, then I go to flip and I import it into flip and then I cross list it on Poshmark and um, Mercari. They're still working on being able to cross list on um, Etsy. And I think they're working on Depop also. Let me let me go into the cross lister here real quick. Um, so yeah, so I think they are working on those two. They've been working on them for a while now. Um, <laughs> maybe one day soon, but it is really helpful to be able to cross list. Right now you can do it on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and uh, Facebook is where you can cross list. I pretty much just use Poshmark and Mercari uh, because I like setting it up on eBay to start with. So that's kind of where I, I go. And I want to give a big thank you to Paul at Philly Flipper because he was the one who I first heard talking about Flip. And I started using them, gosh, I feel like it's been a year. I'm not even sure. It feels like it's been a year or close to a year that I've been using them. So yeah, so thank you, Paul, for that uh, for that hot tip because I really do find them useful. They also are a uh, Poshmark closet sharer, and uh, that's really helpful if you sell on Poshmark. Um, and they will send out um, offers, auto send out offers, which I really like that feature also. So yeah, I really like using Flip. It's very very helpful. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on, on that, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll, I'll answer a question if I can, but, uh, but yeah. And also if you're not following Paul at Philly Flipper now in Florida, um, <laughs> I highly recommend both of his channels. Uh, they're very entertaining to watch and yeah, I do like picking up some little tidbits here and there. So, um, yeah, so I am going to now again, just be, um, um, packing and invoicing. If I find anything of, um, kind of cool interest, I will pop the camera on and show, um, show, you know, things. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I, that's just kind of what I'm going to be doing, hanging out today. I may see some people in the chat in a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna, gonna stop this for right now and then uh, stay tuned to see if I find uh, anything else interesting to talk about today. Otherwise, you'll see me just kind of wrapping things up for today. So we'll see where it goes. It's still early. Got a long way to go. Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I am going to give an update. It is uh, getting, oh gosh, I don't know what time, almost 8.30. I'm getting tired. I'm going to go to bed early tonight. But I wanted to give an update on what I'm doing. So uh, the laundry that I've been working on. Well, the one, um, oh, I got to put the lint roller on that one again. 
the one that I thought was a huge tablecloth because I saw this tag on it that said 81 by 108. Well, it turns out that it's a top sheet. It says it's for a double bed, but wow, it sure seems bigger than for a double bed. But yeah, that's what that is. I thought when I took it out that it was a big tablecloth. It's not. But this one is a nice big tablecloth. It is a white on white design and it came out really nice. So that one turned out really good. I think, I think the really large napkins that I had yesterday go with this. Let me see if I can get in close on that pattern. So yeah, that pattern looks familiar. I think this had some really large napkins that went with it. So I'm going to be excited to find those and match them up. And then I had this beautiful set. Look at this. The napkins each have a different color border on them. Oh, they're so cute. Unfortunately... The tablecloth, very heavily stained, and a lot of those stains just were not coming out. <gasps> Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. It is so cute, but unfortunately, yeah, it is very, very heavily stained, um, which is a shame. It is a shame. Those stains just wouldn't loosen up out of there. So yeah, that is too bad. Uh, but what else I have been doing aside from um, packing and invoicing today is setting up for my sale tomorrow. So um, morning sale on Jen's channel. That is going to be with uh, Lori Blue Flamingo Mercantile. And so I have pulled out a really fun selection of goodies, including something that I had from the laundry yesterday. So that is going to be in there. And uh, yeah, so that, oops, let me switch. There we go, switching that around. So that I think is going to wrap it up for tonight. A uh, busy day, got a lot of stuff done. And uh, yeah, almost, almost met in the middle with my new uh, packing and um, packing and invoicing system with the old system. Almost got those. So I'm going to need just one more. Maybe, maybe Wednesday night after the sale, I can finish that up maybe a little bit into Thursday. We'll see, but I'm making really good progress with that. So I am happy. So I hope to see everyone um, at at the sales on Wednesday, and then I will be back on my channel again on Thursday morning. So thanks again for joining me on this little adventure of uh, just kind of showing you what I do during the day. Uh, so thanks again, and I'll see you next time.